I think that's one another area where you're you're fortunate to have depth and you're ha- ex- fortunate to have experience. You know, you, you talk about Chase Allen, and I mean Chase couldn't have got off to a better start last year playing the tight end position. You know, played a really good football until he got hurt late in the Oklahoma game. And you know, the toughness of Chase to come back and help our team late in the season, I think, showed uh, who he is. And, and then obviously Charlie's then got his opportunity to get in and get a bulk of playing time and had some big moments. Again, what's the next step for them? Can they be the X factor? Can they be consistent in those critical moments? Um, you know, it's going to be really fun to watch that. I thought those guys had great springs. I think the other guy that you can't not talk about in that room is Dylan Sanger. And Dylan has a very similar, I think, growth pattern to what Marcel Spears had. You know, Dylan started on all four special teams, easily could have been our special teams captain a year or uh, MVP a year ago, and was outstanding there. And I think what that's done for us is said, man, we really trust this guy. How do we enhance him and how does he enhance our team? And, you know, probably midway through the spring, he probably was the guy that was the catalyst of what we were doing at times offensively. So I think it's a really unique group. I think that group kind of, again, plays a lot of different roles when you're a tight end. Um, that's what's great about the tight end position. You're a receiver, you're a blocker, you create gaps in the run game, but you also can create mismatches in the passing game. That's not always saying that you're an attached tight end doing that. Um, you know, it's a position that you play, but those guys can move around just like you've seen us move Butler around and Lazard around throughout their careers as well.